Hello and welcome to Nook and Cranny Gaming. My name is Nook. In this video, I'm going to show you where to collect the overdue books and what you can get for it in Fallout 4. What you may know is that you can find overdue books throughout the wasteland in Fallout 4, but did you know that you can trade them in? Do you get five tokens for every book you trade in? And with these tokens, you can trade in for prizes. Now, most of these are like chewing gum and a dog bowl, but there is one rare collectible inside one of these reward terminals. It's a journal, the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. So if you're interested in the required learning side of things in Fallout 4, this is a must have. And at a cost of 50 reward tokens, looks like we need to go collect 10 books. Let's get started. First, let's head to Boston Public Library. Down south, near Diamond City, you'll find Boston Public Library just to the east. There are two different entrances into the Boston Public Library. The first one is out front, which leads you through a subway full of super mutants and death and terror, and the other one is on the west side of the building, which is a little bit more hidden. And since generally we don't like pain and death and suffering, let's head around to the west side of the building. Once at the door, you'll notice an intercom to your right, which you can activate. Activating this will give you a chance to make sure that the Protectrons are peaceful towards you inside. Oh yeah, did I mention there's warring super mutant clan against the Protectron robots that's been going on for several hundred years beforehand? Well, maybe it hasn't been that long. But anyways, you can make sure that the Protectrons will see you as a friend when you go inside by telling the speaker that you're an employee. After this, you'll get a prompt to guess an ID number. And cleverly, you're able to pull something out of your butt. You get a thumbs up if you succeed the roll, and on the inside, prepare for destruction. Or complete serenity. Honestly, I had to go through this building twice on two different saves. The first save was chaos. The super mutants were still alive, the protectrons were going at it, and the second time was, uh, not so much. Anyways, let's go grab those books. Inside, head left to where the super mutant clan was obviously held up. Past their smoking barricade, you'll find a door at the opposite end of the room. Inside, our first three overdue books. And if you look to the back wall, you'll notice a bobblehead on some panels back here. Head back out of this room and look to your left. You'll go through a set of double doors, and if you stick to the right, you'll find another overdue book next to a terminal on a table. Now as you explore the Boston Public Library, you'll probably come across these two giant lion statues, and this is the subway entrance that I was talking about earlier that's infested with super mutants. If you head upstairs this direction and take a left down this hallway, and then go into the first door on your left, you'll find an overdue book in the first stall. Going back to the entrance of the hallway and looking to your right, you'll find another door and another overdue book in the back of the room on the table by a terminal. But this is only six of the ten that we need, so next we're going to go up north to the Collegiate Administration Building, which is just east of the Cambridge Police Station. Head inside and jump over the counter and you'll find the first overdue book here on the bottom shelf. And the second one is just there on top of the desk. Once you grab these two, head left through the double doors and head under the stairs for the third overdue book. Next, take the stairs to the second floor, stick to the left. You'll find the last overdue book of this location and the last overdue book that we need on the floor. Head back to the side entrance of the Boston Public Library and go to the nearest book return terminal there. Here you'll be able to return your overdue books for five tokens apiece, giving you 50 book return tokens. Back at the main menu, select spend tokens and you'll get a list of everything available for purchase here. Scroll down to the Massachusetts Surgical Journal, spend your 50 tokens on it, and you'll have that rare piece of required reading for Fallout 4. If you found the guide helpful, please leave me a like and comment down below. It'll help others find this guide as well. If you're looking for other Fallout 4 guides, check out my Holotape Games Guide or even my Power Armor Guide here, and I will see you in the next video.